Good morning, this is Stedmuffin 1986. Welcome back to the channel. As you may notice, there is the Chieftain MK6 available in the store for purchase. Now, <laughs> in my honest opinion about this tank, I have a love-hate relationship with the Chieftain MK6. I know there's a lot of YouTubers and people that really talk this thing up, but I, like I said, my relationship with this thing is kind of a love-hate, and I think it ties back to when I was a little bit more naive in my days before checking the armor inspector, and primarily just going off of stats that Wargaming would provide. Um, and I would base my decisions on that when purchasing the tank. And one of the things I really relied on is when I went in um, to the game and I looked at the stats of this thing, I saw how much armor it had in the turret. And I was thinking, oh man, and with the gun depression, this thing is going to be incredible. This is so awesome. Honestly, <laughs> the turret isn't really anything to write home about. This thing gets penned quite easily, and I'm going to do a replay just to show you kind of how ridiculous this armor is. Like, I know there's a lot of people that love this thing, and like I said, I don't hate this thing. There are times that I do also enjoy it, and with the negative 10 degrees of gun depression and its stats, I get it. I get it. I mean, this thing has got to have like some weak points with its strong points to really help make it balanced in the game. But <laughs> I am like, I'll be honest, like I was kind of disappointed with this tank when I got it, just with how easily I was getting penned. I honestly can't, I, I just feel like I can never rely on my armor uh, with this thing, which is sad because it's a heavy tank. It's not like it's a medium tank. And so, you know, you try putting yourselves in positions to do your job as a heavy tank um, by applying a little bit more of that pressure and even getting in a, a brawl or face-to-face, -face, um, you know, face hug with another medium. To, I, I get penned, I feel like, all the time. And you're going to see a little bit of that um, as I go over this tank. So when you go in um, to uh, the game, you're going to be able to see. There should be a pop-up just letting you know that the MK6 is now available. You can go in. You can see it in the store. It is available for purchase. Um, and, yeah, it is a Tier 10. A lot of people do have this tank. Um, and the nice thing is it's not in crates. You can just go in and purchase it if you want it. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can go down and see the stats, but when we really go in and look and compare to see what this thing looks like compared to maybe other similar tier, uh, tier tens like the E5, maybe the FE, um, just some others here. I mean, you can see it's, it's not bad. Um, it's got um, fairly average gun compared to the other tanks I've got pulled up here. Uh, it does have decent maneuverability. I mean, it's got good accuracy. Um, its penetration isn't bad. Um, it, I mean, the negative 10 degrees gun depression is incredible. You don't you don't see that on on the other tanks, but it like it, I get it. It comes at a cost because. Yeah, I mean, your turret is not as strong, I guess, as, as you would think it is. But, um, yeah, so, like, from the stats, this tank, I mean, it, it isn't too bad. But I think the best way to really show you is in a video replay. So, Chieftain MK6 doing a game here. Um, the camo, it looks awesome. I really love this camo. I mean, in terms of looks, I think this is a pretty sexy tank. It does look really cool. Uh, but right off the bat here, I mean, you can get a feel for the maneuverability. I mean, this thing, it, it's got good maneuverability. It really isn't bad. I mean, I'm just cruising here. 
Um, even going faster than some of the heavy tanks, which is pretty sweet. So you definitely have that maneuverability. But I think just like I had mentioned, like one of the biggest um, false alarms that you get with this thing is first of all, thinking it's a heavy tank and that you can rely somewhat on its armor. And it's one of the biggest false senses that I keep relying on and I, for, I keep forgetting that I can't really rely on this thing's armor. And like I said, you'll be able to see just a little bit of that. So I'm trying to put myself in a position where I can try to utilize this tank's strong points here on the flank, on the hills, really utilizing that 10 degrees of gun depression and pop up and be able to get some enemies. I mean, this is a really, really good spot. You try to put yourself in town to really rely on your armor and it's gonna cost you. Like, it's funny, just because like, in your mind you're thinking, oh, this is a heavy tank, I've got the armor. Um, and it just doesn't work the way that I would really love it to. But I get it, like I said, if this thing really did have just an incredible turret, I think this thing definitely would be OP. Um, even though I do know it has that hatch on top. So, I mean, yeah, like quick shot there, like good accuracy, really trying to put myself in a place to use the gun depression, um, which is also going to help strengthen your turret a little bit. But, yeah, it just does not work out the way that I want to. So I face hug the, try to get in the face of this T-62, but bam, I just get nailed by that medium tank. Um, just from, from close quarters. It, 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 and, you know, there's another one, but of course I was backing up. But in that first one, I mean, he only had a shot basically at the upper part of my tank. And I just trying to bounce around and I just, I just, I just couldn't. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself aware um, on where my teammates are, where the enemies are. I'm probably not being as aggressive as I could have been right here, but I see two fairly healthy enemy tanks right here. And look at that, I just get like penned so easily and I was still fairly behind that hill. Like I thought so, maybe he did pen me through the side of the hole, but from judging and looking at the hill that was in front of me like even that one like i just got hit again trying to rely on that that turret and like i said maybe i had some of my my hull sticking out so you know it's 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 hard to say but you can see i just i cannot get myself in a position to quite rely on this thing's armor it's just just about every single time I try poking myself out, I mean, look at that, I just get penned again, like, I know players rant and rave about this tank, and they say, oh, you should totally get this thing, but, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, and just up front, I, I don't quite get it, this, this tank gives you definitely like i mentioned before like just a false sense of security <laughs> it does it with me all the time and i fall into its trap a lot <laughs> and just thinking i can bounce around so anyway just my two cents hope this helps this is stud muffin 1986 and uh, good luck on the battlefield